I'm just going to do a quick review of the work that I've been doing on uh, the Hyperspin uh, Media Center. This was the one for version 13, uh, 14, and partial for 15 because they changed, um, J River Media Center uh, changed the way the, uh, the skins operate. One of the things is that I can no longer put the, uh, the ghost images on there. And uh, I was really limited with version 13 on you know exactly what I wanted to do. I always wanted to have like other graphics pop up and uh, be able to play like that. Um, but everything always worked nice on it and it was pretty seamless. So I've been working on a new version of the uh, Hyperspin Media Center and I'm going to kind of demo that for you today. So you can see what the old was like and now you can see what the new is like. Let's come over and let's take a look at the new one. And the graphics on it are really crisp, as you can see. And I did a lot of changing around and added a lot of stuff. So, for example, kind of like how we have the themes in Hyperspin. Now I've added the themes and in basically into uh, the skin. And it looks sick. It looks so real. Too bad I can't uh, uh, add all the bubbly stuff that is in Hyperspin uh, that uh, Bill basically added. Like I wish I could have like the popcorn popping and stuff like that, but limitations are limitations. And this one's for the audio. Some really nice speakers that I was working on. This is the one for images. This one's for uh, basically Hulu, YouTube, and uh, Netflix. And it's pretty cool because they actually they actually work. And I don't know if you just noticed, but you noticed that the um, logo uh, went away. That was one of my biggest pet peeves in the old one is that that logo was always up there and so you always saw it and everything. But now I have it so it's more streamlined and you can go through. And even with Netflix, uh, Netflix, um, the work that J River Media Center um, has been doing, um, especially for version 16, is so much better than the other ones. Uh, before you had to actually go through a web page to access this. Now it's all integrated, which makes it real nice. And I mean, as you can tell, everything looks real slick. And it's pretty cool. I mean, you select on it, it pops up real big. Okay. And of course, YouTube. And it brings up all of its stuff, which is pretty sick. And this is the uh, theme for the DVDs for Search. Now, Search has taken me a while to handle. Basically, I'm still working out the bugs in it, but as you can see, um, it won't let me do like a layout for an actual keyboard so I had to kind of set it up so it looks like a keyboard but it's not exactly a keyboard and uh, right now there's some limitations you know for right now with it hopefully in the uh, in the future because see how right now everything went out to the side when I'm finished with it it should have a small area right underneath here where it actually has um, um, your search info. Right now, I mean, it's still buggy and I'm still working with it, but I'm making a lot of progress. And I'll just back out and kind of scan through it again so you all can see. So there's the 
one for video, for audio, images. Connected is basically the internet uh, TV, uh, the DVD search, and I don't have one for for exit or playlist. I didn't think I needed one. Uh, but uh, I like how it turned out. Everything seems to be running real smooth. Um, and I mean, once you get everything organized, I grew. I basically write my own um, tags for uh, like the interface. So for uh, I use basically what they call grouping, and it's chopped down because I'm kind of a minimalist when it comes to this stuff. You know, I want to be able to select on. Okay, I want to watch, you know, CSI Miami, and then I want to be able to have them all uh, pretty much uh, listed, if you will. Um, or, um, like I spent some time doing stuff with the Disney stuff, so I went through and found all the original posters for it. Uh, some of them I haven't got them all, but most of them I have. That's pretty cool. You click on it, and I did a little marquee for it. But I think it looks sick. I still got a long way to go, but I'm excited. I know I've been kind of in the dark um, about everything that I've been doing, but everybody needs a break and. I took a break and had a great time, and now I'm back to it. Well, thank you all for watching. This is uh, Cool Breeze uh, 67 saying, "Here's the new," and here is the original. I will definitely miss the features of the original, but uh, we're moving forward. And uh, thank you for watching, and you all have a wonderful day.